known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles for my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days, or as the grass is a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath set me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thine hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O 
the design files is exposed, which will most be sitting up even the line as the are exposed by the simplicity of their preaching and examination of lines that they might then be only clear in the Lord's Orthodox man. The way from bottom to sound the Holy Spirit, but now the Holy Spirit is the way for men. We easily magnify our fair purpose, crying around. Rejoice thou in the heavenly light, for thou is fair of the Lord of glory in thy womb. mystically sounded forth with thy cries, and thy secret prayers rose as in sins up to the throne of God. Then in the midst of men thou wast not afterwards troubled, dwelling in the calm of a heart rooted deep in prayer. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. 
Unite what was sundered and give new life to the dead. God hath found the heavens and he has come down to us to thee. If he hath joined in me the name of virgin to mother and the name of God unto man for the joy of all. O Lord, pastor of the wealth of heaven and creator of the church, establish me in thy love of sundered of desire, confirmation of the faithful, who alone lovest mankind. And again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, and eternal Lord Joseph, the virgin Mary of all the saints. Let us give ourselves and one another in all our lives unto Christ our God. Riding off the 
demons who could not hold back thy blameless soul. O Venerable Father, Moses, pray God for us. Our pain of body and soul, we lay before thy great sympathy. O leave us not unto the soul of Moses, we trust in thee and look to thy tender care. See our grievous sufferings and pour out thy goodness on us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How shall we rightly praise this most sweet flower of the wilderness, which was transplanted again to cool and worldly gifts, yet never was trampled down? Would it not by praises, nor by troubles, nor by fragrance? For now the men of the age have aided the men. O Virgin Mother of God, who is thy divine and unceasing care, provide my soul for the way and pilgrimage of my life with faith and unity, sorrow for my pains, and the staff of certain folk of thee. Let me, O Savior, for many of my transgressions, and lead me up from the abyss of evil, I pray. For to thee have I cried, and thou hast hearkened to me, O God of my salvation. And in his hand, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. All you can remember and tell us, holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, and if you have so close, never virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life and through Christ our God. And our the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, unto thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Venerable Father Moses, pray to God for us, your unspeakable sorrows that us never withdraw from the Lord thy hope in him. And he who recompenseth the faith of them that fear him brought thee forth into joy to cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And unshepherdly bishop stole the choicest of thy sheep from thy fold in time of need. Let us practice patience, believing the Good Shepherd doth provide all to them who cry. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. For thou wanted protection, thy eternal affection, thy goodness unto all, we thank thee, O gracious lady, our daily benefactress. For through thee we have learned to cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. The King of Heaven, the host of angels, in praise and exalt you supremely for all ages. O God of Moses, pray to God for us. When the Lord's righteous anger be in, when the Lord's righteous anger be in, O Moses, stand in the breach and work of reconciliation. In finding God to mercy with solicitude, for thine guarding servants, strained in the darkness of willfulness and passions. O oh, then, our Father Moses, pray to God for us, Son of the past, in the everlasting mountains, and when shall look us down on those who seek to try to O oh, Moses, send forth strong and speaking help to us with thy hands uplifted in divine to be for thy beleaguered people. 
be blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Bless this house where thy name is held in honor. May its walls ever stand upheld by thy decrees, and may all they who dwell therein with piety be shown forth as temples of the Holy Spirit in godliness and virtue, both now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Having thee as our strength and dread protection, O pure Mother of God, we walk in life and knowledge, and glorify him whom thou dost bear for us. We are free from suffering, stumblings, delusion, and all the devil's knowledge. We bless thee, we worship the Lord, streaming and exalting and supreme for all the ages. The King of heaven and the host of angels in, praise and exalting supreme for all the ages. Hail, Tokos, and the Mother of the Lord, let us magnify us along. Father Moses, pray to God for us, 
O Moses, if it please thee to help the poor, let thy work now continue in us who groan in poverty, having no good thing to present to Christ. With pleadings clothe our nakedness, and beseech the pardon of all our debts, that through thy mediations we find a habitation beyond the grave with all the saints in life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Take Anthony as helper in fervent prayer. Stir up Leo and Ambrose, and Lord divine Macarius. Ask that Joseph lift up his hands to Christ. With all the saints of Orkina, offer strong entreaty in every hour for us who know thy goodness. And trust in thy compassion, and sing thy praise, O Moses, friend of God, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alas, for the creation that thou hast made, what, O Lord, hath befallen an image which so, which so brightly shone with the world dignity of thy form, but is now broken, mired, and dark? Yet through that most saving refashioning accomplished through the Virgin, restore thy wounded image and save me through thy mother's holy prayers. Heaven was stricken with all in the ends of the earth for amaze that God hath appeared in the flesh. And that thy womb became more spacious than the heavens, before the ranks of men and angels, magnify thee as that they are tokos. It is truly mean to bless thee that they are tokos, ever blessed and most famous and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Who without corruption gave us but to God the word, the very day of the proceed to be magnified. Let it have in peace of the Lord, and the Lord have mercy. Offer save us, have mercy on us, and keep us from God, but not the Lord. Lord, I pray for our friends, I don't have enough. We are all for the glory of the Lord, and we are all for the glory of the Lord, and we are all for the glory of all the same. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life and through Christ our God. For all the hosts of heaven, praise thee unto thee, we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Praise 
God and the saints, praise Him with the mother that is God. Praise Him for His mighty acts, praise Him according to the knowledge of the greatest greatness. Praise Him with the sound of trumpets, praise Him with the psaltery of the heart. Praise Him with the people and dance, praise Him with the people and good. Praise Him with the people and symbols, praise Him with the symbols of revelation. Let us be praise the Lord. We glory to you, O Lord our God, and to the return of glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee who has shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. The Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in is the fountain of life, and thy life shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Now say, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. With thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. He is your praise to be of due song, to be glorious due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Holy, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Need to let peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Ask of the Lord. Lord. Things that are impossible for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. We may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Rich in that name to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Let us put ourselves and one another in all our life and through Christ our God. Amen. Thou art a God of mercy, compassion, and love for mankind, and to thee we send out glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. As you Divided is to show mercy to save us, O our God. Thank you. 
worships the Lord. They who were curious theologize the doctrines of Greece. For the sake of them who are full of loving kindness, grant us great mercy. The morning of thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and are glad. And all thy days, let us be glad for the days when thy son was. For the years when we saw you was upon thy servants and upon thy works. And you have died here, sons. We who are ever assailed by the actions of the unrighteous, yet truly by refuge in thee who art God, offer unto thee the voice of thy disciples, saying, Save us, O our instructor, for we are perishing, and we pray to down to our enemies, that thou protectest men and savest them from misfortunes, through the supplications of the apostles, O Lord, looking their sins in thy great goodness, O Lord, glory to thee. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands to thy God right upon us. And in the work of our hands do thou guide our right. The most is good of thy saints, and treated thee, O Christ. Have mercy and save us, in that thou lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All of my hope do I set on thee, O Mother of God. Keep me under thy protection. It is good to give praise unto the Lord, and to chant unto the name of the Most High. To proclaim the Lord in thy mercy, and thy true find out. Holy God, we might be with you, Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, we might be with you, Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, we might be with you, Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and in the same as in the time. O most holy Jesus, have mercy on us, O Lord, God, our sins, and last of our time, and to please. O Holy One, who is written in the Lord, and to please, what I am saying. God of mercy, God of mercy, God of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and in the same as in the time. Our Father, who art in heaven, is hallowed thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but lead us to the Lord. I the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. The riches that it seek was to console the poor. Seeing the hungry killed to thee was sweetest there a righteous father, and thy rest was bearing thy neighbor's burden. For though thou wast hard as steel to the demons and to thy flesh, yet was thy heart daily crushed at the weakness and woe of men. O Moses, open wide thine affections. Receive us and pray for our salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Where each one is safe, there doth he rightly have recourse, and what other such refuge is there, which protecteth our souls like the Oteotoko. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, heart, and then have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father of his holiness, patriarch, for real, for our Lord, the very most reverend metropolitan Nicholas, for side of our the Russian Church abroad, and for all our brethren in Christ. Father, the Abbot of the Holy Monastery, our command right there with him and all his brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And then we pray for the Sinus authorities and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And then we pray for the 
God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And then we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of the Holy Monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren, God, for the rest, before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere, lay to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now might we come with a merciful eye upon the people of Ukraine and land and make it uncomfortable by those who work strike. <coughs> we pray the O kind heart of Lord heart and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Then we pray, for our Lord and Savior, that you might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety. And grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, heart and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And then we pray that you would bless the building of our new church to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power and operation and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And then we pray for them to bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present that await of thee, great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For our merciful God, our Thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto Thee do we send our glory, and the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Fatherland, He that is, is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians under the ages of ages. Lord, how long be thou to be concerning thy servants? 
we were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and we're glad. In all our days, let us be glad for the days where thou hast come to us, for the years where we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us in the works of our hands, do thou guide or right upon us, yea. The work of our hands, do thou guide or right. A mercy and judgment will I say unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding, and a blameless path one will thou come unto me. I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have known walked the thing before my eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. The crooked heart is not cleaved done to me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. In that privily talked against his neighbor, did I drive away from me. With him whose eye was proud, and his heart and safety, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the way was path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwell not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prosper not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land. I went to the spread of the city of the Lord, all them that were iniquity. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The riches thou didst seek was to console the poor, seeing the hungry filled to thee with sweetest sparrow, righteous Father. And thy rest was bearing thy neighbor's burden. For thou was hard as steel to be even to thy flesh, yet was thy heart daily crushed with the weakness of the world of men. O Moses, open wide thy affection, receive us and pray for our salvation. Both now and ever in the ages of ages of it. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast gone forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for thou hast lost and forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained in corrupt. Pure mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the sun of God of all. For thou entreated to save our souls. My steps, for thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant as you see thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may give thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Only God, only mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Only God, only mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Only God, only mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master. Pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake, what have mercy, what have mercy, what have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The night is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, it's honor God by faith, taking no, no thought for the morrow, and he gave thee all thy needs, both of the flesh and of the spirit, earthly goods for thee, to build up in his dwellings, the tears and the grace whereby thou dwellest with him in heaven. And so Moses, we remember thee, whose meek and pure soul shone with the light from on high. Lord have mercy, 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 Thou uh, would all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenty of mercy, most compassion, who love us the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all the salvation for the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers for this hour and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Comfort us about with thy holy angels, thy guarded and guided by their array. 
you may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of them and the first glory from blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very tale of the Lord, and magnify. Father, bless. God be gracious unto us and bless us in Christ's thy face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. Of Christ the true light and enlighten us and sanctify us every man that cometh into the world with the light of thy covenant be light upon us. And in it we may see the unapproachable light and God our steps in the doing of thy commandments and the steps of the most pure mother and of all thy saints. Amen.
Okay, our command right there, who now is present in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And Begotten Son and Word of God, who art 
hungry, filled to the most sweet as Pharaoh, wretched's father. And the rest was bearing thy neighbor's burden. For though thou wast hard as steel to the demons and to thy flesh, yet was thy heart dearly crushed at the weakness and woe of men. O Moses, open wide thy affections. Receive us and pray for our salvation. The firm and divine voice preachers, the chief of thy disciples, O Lord, thou hast taken to thyself for the enjoyment of thy blessings and for repose. Their labors and death is thou accept as above every sacrifice. O thou who alone knowest the heart. In the arose, saint thou didst prove to be a minister of things sacred. For having fulfilled the gospel of Christ, thou didst lay down thy life for the people. And it saved the innocent from death, wherefore thou wast sanctified as the great initiate of the grace of God. Thou didst honor God by faith, taking no God for the morrow, and he gave thee all thy needs. Both of the flesh and the spirit, earthly goods for thee to build up often as dwellings, tears and graves whereby thou dwellest with him in heaven. And so Moses we revere thee, whose meek and pure soul shall look thy life from on high. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. With the saints give us to Christ to the souls of thy servants, where there is neither sickness nor sorrow nor sighing, but life everlasting, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, who was willingly uplifted on the cross, bestow thy mercies upon the new community named after thee. Gladden with thy power the orthodox Christians granting them victory over their enemies. May they have as thy
kind to thy spirit. Wisdom. The Pergamon in the eighth tone. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words into the ends of the world. And their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaimeth the work of his hands. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us return. Brethren, I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the Apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, wert grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. He hope, therefore, the goodness and severity of God. <clears throat> On them which fell severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness. Otherwise thou also shalt be cut off, and they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree which is wild by nature, and wert grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted in on thine own olive tree? Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, <coughs> afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, for he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued under him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Peace be unto thee. And to thy spirit. Wisdom. The Alleluia in the first tone. Alleluia, Alleluia. Heaven shall confess thy wonders, O Lord, in thy truth, in the congregation of saints. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God, who is glorified in the council of the saints. Alleluia, alleluia. unto all and to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. 
let us attend. The Lord said to his disciples, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Lord said to the Jews that came to him, This is the will of him that sent me, that, that every one that which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves, no man shall come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Temple, and then that minister, and then that chant, and for all the people. 
be your presence by the way to be great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 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 Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
catechumens depart, as many as the catechumens depart, and then of the catechumens remain, as many as of the faithful, again and again, in peace, let us speak of the Lord.
America, to our Lord, the very most Reverend Nicholas, Metropolitan of Eastern America, and New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commanderite seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. This land, its authorities, and the faithful that dwell therein, the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, <coughs> the clergy, the monastics, and all that are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith, the founders, the benefactors, and the brethren of this holy monastery, and you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of life, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us went and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens and sat at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come.
hands and knees, safety, honor, health and length of days, rightly divide the word of the
as at hand. Holy things are for the holy.
peace in this Lord, to sit the inevitable compassion of thy love for mankind, is take on all of our substance from the pure and virgin blood of her that bear thee supernaturally, through the divine, through the descent of the divine spirit, and the good will of the everlasting Father. O Christ Jesus, wisdom of God, and peace and power, thou who through the assumption of our nature didst take upon thyself thy life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify the soul-corrupting passions of my body. Thou who by thy burial didst lead captive the kingdom of Hades, bury with good thoughts mine evil schemes, and destroy the spirits of evil. Thou who by thy life bearing resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen forefather, raise me up who have slipped down into sin, setting before me the ways of repentance. Thou who by thy most glorious ascension didst deify the flesh that thou hast taken, and didst honor it with the seed at the right hand of the Father, vouchsafe me, through partaking of thy holy mysteries, to obtain a place at thy right hand among them that are saved. O thou who by the descent of thy spirit, the Comforter, didst make thy, dis- thy holy disciples worthy vessels, show me also to be a receptacle of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world in righteousness, deign to let me also meet thee on the clouds, my judge and creator, with all thy saints, that I may endlessly glorify and praise thee, who find honor which their Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone has authority to remit the sins of men, do thou, as the good one and lover of mankind, overlook all my offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-giving mysteries, not as a burden, nor for punishment, nor for an increase of sins, but unto purification and sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come as a bulwark in help and for the destruction of enemies and for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For thou art a God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and unto thee do we send of glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake unworthily of thine immaculate body and thy precious blood, and that I am guilty and eat and drink damnation to myself, not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ and God, but taking courage from thy compassion, I approach thee who hast said, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. Show compassion therefore, O Lord, and do not accuse me a sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy, and let these holy things be for me unto healing and purification and enlightenment and preservation and salvation and unto sanctification of soul and body, unto the driving away of every fantasy and evil practice and activity of the devil working mentally in my members, unto confidence and love toward thee, unto correction of life, unto steadfastness, unto an increase of virtue and perfection, unto fulfillment of the commandments, unto communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for life eternal, as an acceptable defense of thy dread tribunal, not into judgment or condemnation. From solely lips, from an abominable heart, from a tongue impure, from a soul defiled, accept my supplication, O my Christ, and disdain me not, neither my words, nor my ways, nor my shamelessness. Grant me to say boldly that which I desire, O my Christ, or rather, teach me what I ought to do and say. I have sinned more than the sinful woman, who, having learned where thou wast lodging, bought myrrh, and came daringly to anoint thy feet, my God, my Master, and my Christ. As thou didst not reject her when she drew near from her heart, neither, O word, be thou filled with loathing for me, but grant me thy feet to clasp and kiss, and with floods of tears, as with most precious myrrh, dare to anoint them. Wash me with my tears, and purify me with them, O word. Remit also my transgressions, and grant me pardon. Thou knowest the multitude of mine evils, Thou knowest also my sores, and Thou seest my wounds. But also Thou knowest my faith, and Thou beholdest my good intentions, and Thou fearest my sights. Nothing is hidden from Thee, my God, my Creator, my Redeemer, neither a teardrop nor a part of a drop. My deeds not yet done, Thine eyes have seen, 
And in thy book, even things not yet accomplished are written by thee. See my lowliness, see my toil, how great it is. And all my sins take from me, O God of all. Then with a pure heart, a trembling mind, and a contrite soul, I may partake of thy spotless and most holy mysteries, by which all that eat and drink in purity of heart are quickened and deified. For thou, O my master, hast said, Every one that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. True is every word of my master and God. For whosoever partaketh of the divine and deifying grace is no more alone, but with thee, my Christ, the free sun life that enlighteneth the world. And that I may not remain alone without thee, the life giver, my breath, my life, my rejoicing, the salvation of the world. Therefore have I drawn nigh unto thee, as thou seest, with tears and with a contrite soul. O ransom of mine offenses, I ask thee to receive me, and that I may partake without condemnation of thy life-giving and perfect mysteries, that thou mayest remain, as thou hast said, with me, a thrice wretched one, lest the deceiver, finding me without thy grace, craftily seize me, and having beguiled me, draw me away from thy deifying words. Amen. With fear of God and faith, draw nigh. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is summoned to the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe that this is truly thy most pure body. And this is truly thy own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word, in deed, in knowledge, and in ignorance. And thou save me to partake without condemnation of thy most dear mysteries, unto the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a community. For I will not speak of the mystery to thy enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss of his duties. For like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. But not the communion of thy holy mysteries demand to me for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but for the healing of soul and body.
Live, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Lord, have mercy. And we pray thee, O Lord our God, 
thou wouldst mercifully, wouldst mercifully on this place, chosen for the foundation of a church to the glory of thy most holy name. And blessed with thy heavenly blessing, let us all say, O oh Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray thee, O merciful one, that thou wouldst bless this good intention and work of thy servants, the all-venerable argument, right, Samaritan. The brethren who come to benefactors of this holy monastery, let us all say, O oh Lord, quickly hearken and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray thee, O oh Lord our God, that thou wouldst bless the founding of this building to the glory of thy name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power and operation and grace of the most holy spirit, let us all say, O oh Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray thee, O Lord our God, that thou wouldst grant assistance in all things to the workers laboring therein. Direct the work of their hands and bring to a speedy conclusion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray thee, O Creator and Sustainer of all, that thou wouldst prosper with all abundance this good labor of thy servants. By the power, operation, and grace of thy most holy spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and, have, and speedily have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray thee, O Lord of hosts, that thou wouldst appoint to this work and its workers, thy guardian angel, who shall invisibly repel all adverse assaults of enemies, both visible and invisible, and everything thou wouldst grant assistance and wisdom before its construction, and strength for its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the most holy spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, quickly hearken and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray also that the Lord God may hearken to the voice of the supplication of us sinners and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hearken unto us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and then of the prophets, see. And be merciful, be merciful, O Master, regarding our sins, and have mercy on us. For a merciful God art thou, the lover of mankind, and the beauty we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord our God, because of the great multitude of thy goodness and love for mankind, has chosen and sanctified this place, and has laid upon it the foundation of a church, the glory of thy most holy name. Having bowed the knees of our souls and bodies, we humbly beseech thee, send down now thy heavenly blessing, and bless the beginning of this building, and strengthen and establish it, and bring it to a successful conclusion. Grant bodily health and spiritual salvation to all that shall lend their help in the building and completion of this temple. Bestow upon them the multitude of thy heavenly and earthly good things. Strengthen the laborers, preserving them unharmed from every evil thing. And preserve these foundations indestructible and immovable. And bring us thy temple speedily to completion that unceasingly therein, even to the end of the age, <coughs> with exalted hymns and laudations and bloodless sacrifices. We may glorify and sing praises of thee, our only true God, for unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let them be here and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord in the earth me, and deliver me from all my tribulations. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord on camp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that hopeth in him. 
the downward, fire that doth consume me and warn me. Bring me out of my creator, but rather enter thou into all my members, into my joints, my reins, and my heart. Burn up the door of all my sins, work on my soul, sanctify my heart, strengthen my substance together with my bones, enlighten my simple five senses, nail down the hold of me with my fear, ever protect and preserve and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse and adorn me, make me comely, give me understanding and enlighten me, show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer the habitation of sin, and from me as thine abode through the entry of communion, every evil doer, every passion may flee us from fire. As intercessors I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further thou on the file of mother, whose entreaties that thou accept of my compassion in Christ, and make thy servant a child of light. And thou will order our sanctification of the one, and the radiance of our souls, and unto thee as God and Master, we all send the glory as is meet every day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may my holy body be unto me for life eternal, and my precious blood for the remission of sins, and may this Eucharist be unto me for joy and health and gladness, and at thy dread coming, second coming, vouchsafe me a sinner, and stand at thy right hand, with thy glory for the intercessions of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, <clears throat> light of my earth and soul, my hope, my protection, refuge, consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me when I'm unworthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who givest birth to the true light, do thou enlighten the spiritual laws of my heart, thou who givest birth to the source of immortality, reviving one dead in sin, thou who art the loving and compassionate Father of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me compunction and contrition of my heart. Humility in my thoughts and recall of my thoughts from captivity, and thou sit me until my last breath to receive of that condemnation, the sanctification of thy most pure mystery, of the most pure mysteries, for the healing of both soul and body, grant me tears of repentance and confession of for which to can be, and glorify thee all the days of my life, for blessed art thou and most glorified unto the ages of ages. Amen. And let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. Mine eyes have seen my salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, for the blood of your sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon hath illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness and shown us the heights of humility while instructing us by thy words of Father John Chrysostom. In your seat with the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens as thou received divine grace, and by thy lips let us teach all to worship the one God in Trinity, O John Chrysostom, all blessed and righteous one. Rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher of human things divine. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O mediation unto the Creator unfailing, to stay not the suffering voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us when faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercession, and speed that to make supplication, thou who dost ever protect the Theotokos, then let honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, and without corruption give us birth to God the Word, the very Theotok most be, we magnify, in the name of the Lord, Father bless. And the Christ our true God, the intercessions of his most dear mother, the holy great martyr, and the most the name of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for you, and the of mankind. Amen.